course, you remember Melanie C from the Spice Girls. Recently, she's been playing Mary Magdalene in the London production of Jesus Christ Superstar. It's so successful, it's coming to Sydney. She'll be starring alongside the talented Ben Forster, who plays Jesus. Melanie and Ben join us this morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I am such a Jesus Christ Superstar tragic. I can't wait. It is incredible. And we know Australians love this show, so we're so excited to bring this production here. Well, look at you, Ben. You, you won this through a reality show, this role. But did, you were yeah. already a performer, yes. weren't you? Yes, yeah, I was in the West End like performing in, in different musicals and, and shows and things. Um, and then I saw this opportunity... You know that it was going to happen, and to be honest, I've dreamed about playing Jesus since I was like twelve years Haven't old. Haven't we all been? And uh, <laughs> yeah, and it was just one of those things where you know I took a leap of faith and a risk, and thought, you know what, why not? Did you did you think if I don't get this, I'm just going to break down? Was that, did you put a lot no, of pressure you know on yourself? What? For or? me, I mean, I, I'm an actor and a singer, and I go for three auditions a week that I don't get. You know, out of every twenty that you go for, you might get a recall or you'll get a job. So, for me, it was like, you know, if I don't get that, I'll move on to the next thing. But you know, I, I did try my best, and and I really wanted it. There's know. something enduring about Jesus Christ Superstar. It's been forty years mm. since we since the musical mm. was written. You've given it a modern twist. It's sort of set in the Occupy Wall Street kind of era, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's very much set in today's times and and it's incredible the resonance it has with so many things that have been happening in the world over the last few years and you know really the story it's about relationships and people isn't it so it really works and modern greed and all those things the themes are still really prevalent how does it feel to get up and just belt out those fabulous songs i'm just jealous it'd be great it's amazing it is i mean it's you know what it's what you dream about when you're 10 years old and you kind of go i want to be a singer and i want to stand in an arena and scream (laughs) you know that that that's what we get to do. And it's like, you know, it's the dream come true, really. It's kind of, you know, standing in the O2 Arena in London singing Gethsemane. I was like, okay, I've made it. Yeah. Are you sort of lamenting the fact that you don't get to wear the robes, though? You don't get to grow the no, long you know hair? What? I'm happy that I don't, actually, because I think it's so it's so important what it's about and the, the message that he sings about and that kind of conversation. If Jesus was actually to have a conversation with God, it would be so important. And I think, you know, putting making it today and making it relevant and me standing there in jeans and a shirt kind of going these are the same questions that could exist 2000 years ago or now it's just you know it makes it so much more important well a good friend of our show andrew o'keith is is playing herod which yeah, is yeah. is a game show host yes yeah um Perfect. It, which, which, which is kind yeah. of extraordinary isn't it? Yeah. it it is but you know and, and it sounds a bit crazy actually you know on paper i think it sounds crazy but when you see it and it's in the it's in the show and it, it fits in that moment it just works perfectly i've seen the uh f- the a film of your London production, and that's the production we'll be getting here. It's hugely emotional, isn't it? Do you find that? Absolutely, yeah. And I think, you know, we've been talking about the show a lot over the last few days, and it's incredible to think that Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice were in their late teens, early 20s when they wrote this piece. Really? And it, yeah, and it totally stands up today. And we feel like our job's really easy because the emotion, it's just there on the page for you know, in the music, in the lyrics. Mm. Oh, there'll be people of a certain age singing along in that yeah. crowd, won't there? Certain. Well, are you talking like a fifty-one-year-old woman all called right. Amanda? Oh, yes, all right. Thank studio, you. Singing along. <laughs> There's many of us, Brendan. Thank we, you. Well, we look forward to seeing the show. And if you do see Andrew O'Keefe, can you just get him to explain Deal or No Deal? <laughs> I just—it's just a long he time. He hosts a show called Deal or No Deal that we we've know. always yeah. struggled yeah. to it's understand. Got a bunch of suitcases. We have it in the UK as well. Do you understand it? Really, I don't think there's anything to understand. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're looking too hard. They just get the ugly models and they put them up the back. Melanie C, Ben Foster, thank you for joining thank us this you. morning. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Well,